So today standing with me I have the Chairman of Stewards, Graham Locke, to have a look through the meeting at Menangle uh, last Saturday night and we'll start off with race one, uh, taken out by Stormont Kazar. Yes, uh, it was a strong win by Stormont Kazar, Amanda. Uh, we did have uh, a change of tactics put in for Coldplay Road and Let's Cut Loose and Coldplay Road ultimately uh, had difficulty finding clear running in the straight. Quite unusually, we had two horses finish the race with a flat tyre in Benny's Ace, which had been contacted in the vicinity of the 700 by Franco Nepia. Mr Komorowski eventually was uh, charged with carelessness and fined over that incident, and he's a dude carried a flat tyre for most of the race, which puts merit into its performance um, in the end. Uh, we couldn't determine uh, where or how that might have occurred. In... Uh, Race two, uh, we had uh, both Lloyd Mayweather, Abby Cullen and my guy Mac held up. Um, there's all plenty of merit in those runs. Uh, the horses basically weren't fully tested in running to the line. We did uh, question Jack Trainer, the driver of Mac Kelly, in relation to that horse's performance. Uh, firstly, in the fact that we felt that uh, he conceded a little too quickly to uh, LJ's magic out of the gates. Uh, Mr Trainer explained that he felt that LJ's magic had a uh, an advantage over him basically from the get-go and in that case uh, then sort of trailing position on Macca Kelly. He did explain to us that he thought there was uh, good merit in the run of Macca Kelly considering he had to make a run wide on the track uh, on the final turn and Mr Trainer did make the observation that Macca Kelly is a far better horse when it's able to race against the marker pegs. We also uh, had a look at uh, driver Stephen Turnbull's uh, whip action on a mouse in the house in the race. We initially felt that it was uh, the hand movement was well above the shoulder. However, accessing uh, all angles, particularly the angle from the home turn in the end, we satisfied, were satisfied that Mr Turnbull wasn't in breach of the rules. We did remind him of his obligations, however. In race three, uh, Written in Red and Wabi Sabi both had change of tactics and were driven accordingly. Um, in this race we had an incident in the straight where Lumos was checked uh, by Ego Dan, the eventual winner, which shifted out in attempting to make a run. We did uh, inquire into that incident and reprimanded Nathan Jack. And I think uh, in that race, uh, Amanda Ego Dan probably uh, got the benefit of uh, being driven quieter from, from the 11 gate uh, as distinct from its previous two runs when it was uh, driven more positively in the race. It certainly did finish the race off well on Saturday night. Uh, race four, we had change of tactics for both Artik and Better Adam. The change of tactics for Artik was to be driven uh, less aggressively and uh, it was some surprise then to see Artik come off the arm and settle uh, on the pegs to eventually get leaders back. Robert Morris was questioned in relation to that and uh, he made the observation that when, uh, I think it was lots more art, uh, Gallup, uh, out of uh, an inside gate he elected to uh, try and be more positive on the horse to take advantage of that situation with the speed underneath him uh, not as great as what it otherwise would have been um, generally speaking uh, it, was a, it was a typical claimer and uh, as I said we did uh, also question uh, Jim Douglas, the driver of in Massachusetts, in respect of his use of the whip and uh, subsequently found him to be in breach of the rules and there was a fine of $200 issued. Um, we, uh, just from a, a performance perspective, Don Boston, uh, probably a little bit below par of the performance. Uh, it's been stood down uh, for one trial. Uh, that probably takes us to race five. Um, we did have a uh, an incident uh, in respect to the uh, uh, about the 400 metre mark. I'm Mr Brightside when racing outside uh, Excitus in the city. Um, Nathan Jack was looking for runners come out and inconvenienced. Uh, I'm Mr Brightside and in uh, turn um, Lauren Tritton on uh, Mac Beauty has uh, shifted wider on the track and been inconvenienced. We again reprimanded Nathan Jack in respect of that incident. The stewards did question um, driver Brendan Barnes in relation to the tactics used on Elder Jerome in the race. Um, if you'll recall, there was quite a significant speed battle, uh, particularly with Better Be Cool, uh, trying to hold out uh, or make uh, Elder Jerome work in the early stages and eventually Elder Jerome got to the front and uh, the stewards are just broadly concerned that the uh, 
the sectionals run by Elder Jerome uh, were, were probably a big ask uh, given the horse's previous performances. So that's an inquiry that we've adjourned to allow us to have a look at uh, previous performances in some depth. We did take uh, evidence from both Mr Barnes and Mr Bazzuto. Mr Barnes said that he'd been instructed to lead and uh, generally the instructions were when driving Elder Jerome to maintain a a clear length in front of other rivals so that the horse uh, continued to perform to its best. Mr uh, Pizzuto, the trainer of Velda Jerome, did confirm those instructions. We also questioned Amanda Turnbull, the dry trainer and driver of Better Be Cool, in, in relation to the tactics employed there. At the previous start, the horse had had a change of tactics and to be driven further back, which it was. On this occasion, obviously, came off the arm and, and made Elder Jerome work. Um, Miss Turnbull... Uh, did plead guilty to a charge of failing to notify a change of tactics and was fined two hundred dollars. Back to race six. Um, look, no real race incidences. The excitement in the race probably took place uh, after the race. Amanda Storm Maguire, which. Uh, had resisted Jared Elchin's attempts to uh, restrain it in the early stages and probably proved give him a very difficult drive after the race appeared to take charge and make contact with the outside fence. Um, we did have the veterinary surgeons examine Storm Maguire subsequent to the race. It was found to have lacerations and abrasions which required treatment. We did order that the horse be stood down for a period of seven days and would be required to trial uh, satisfactorily before we see it in a race again. Uh, back to race eight, um, we had a change of tactics in this race from both Hotshot Woman, Rock Hand and Gina Grace. They were driven accordingly. There was an incident in the vicinity of the 200 metres, uh, quite a severe incident actually, where a better rose was checked by Hotshot Woman, uh, which was shifting out and attempting to obtain clear running. Um, the stewards uh, do wish to uh, explore that uh, uh, incident uh, with driver Vincent Langdon and uh, there's an adjourned inquiry as a consequence. A better rose was uh, examined by the club's veterinary surgeon who report the horse had sustained a laceration to its near fore leg which required treatment and that horse has been stood down for seven days pending the uh, provision of a veterinary certificate. Uh, we did delay the all clear in this race to permit Nation Jack, the driver of uh, Gina Grace, to, to review the official vision and particularly in the vicinity of the 400 and 300 metres. Um, there was an incident where Nathan Jack had commenced to improve outside uh, on Gina Grace, had commenced to improve outside the wheel of Rainbow Flash, which had uh, taken him wider as the field entered the straight. Mr Jack felt there was grounds for an objection and lodged an objection against Rainbow Flash being declared the winner on the grounds of alleged interference in the vicinity of the 300 metres. Having considered the evidence, reviewed the official vision and uh, acting on our own observations, the stewards didn't think that despite the fact that Gina Grace had been inconvenienced in the incident that the uh, uh, effect or consequences to the interference were sufficient to uh, uphold the objection, so it was dismissed and the placing stood. Uh, and in the last... Um, there's an incident, a minor incident, similar to that one actually that occurred on the entrance to the straight where Vic Chevelle has been inconvenienced by movement from Our Dainty Lady. Um, we did reprimand Jared Elchin, the driver of Our Dainty Lady, for shifting ground. Uh, in respect of Our Dainty Lady, which uh, on face value um, uh, performed probably below par, uh, I have had a call from trainer Jared Elchin to say that subsequent to the race, uh, ulcers and quite significant ulceration had had developed in the horse's mouth. Uh, he's uh, uh, had uh, some investigation and is quite... Uh, um, he can't figure out the reasons for it, so he's, uh, he's looking to explore it further from a veterinarian point of view. And that's essentially uh, what happened on Saturday night, Amanda. Well, thank you for that, and I guess we'll catch up uh, for next week after next week's meeting. Be a pleasure.